in our previous session we have worked with payment page now we are going to see how to create user orders table and also we need one user pending table okay if the user has ordered if the user has completed the payment the status should be completed if the user has not completed the payment then the status should be pending okay for that we need one table and also for user orders we need one table okay now we are going to create two tables and later on we are going to write php code whenever user clicks on pay offline whatever data the user is having okay that is whatever items the user is having inside the cart that item should be stored inside this orders table okay now we are going to work with the tables next in next sessions we are going to write the php logic okay now here i am just going to create one table i'll just give my table name as user orders okay whatever name you want you can give but based on the condition you have to change the name now here i'll be giving the table name i'll just write here user table okay i just have to write here user orders okay i'll i have given the table name as user orders inside this i just need seven columns i need three more i'll just write here three i'll click on go now first i'm just going to add here order id order order id then next i just have to access the user id okay whichever user is ordering this one that user id i just have to store inside this table so here i'm going to give user id then next i just want amount okay how much amount is due i just want to store that one okay that is the due amount and also i just want to create one invoice number so here i'll be writing invoice number okay this is going to generate random number and we will see how to generate the random number for this then next i'll be creating here total products okay total how many products that user is going to order so for that i'm just uh, writing here one column total products then after that i just have to write here order date okay on which date the order was submitted and finally i just have to write here order status okay whether the status is pending or it is completed if the user has done payment for this then the status should be completed if the user has not done then it should be in pending stage okay order id we need because for each and every order we should be having one id and this id will be unique okay the data type will be in for this for integer i am not going to give any length and for this order id i am just going to give this auto increment which means that whenever new order is getting submitted this value will be incremented by 1 as soon as i give this one this inside this null index this primary will be assigned to us okay this primary means inside this table this order id will be unique then here i am having user id whichever user is ordering that user id will be stored here okay for this also data type will be int amount also will be int okay amount i am just going to give here 255 if you want to give floating point then also you can give as of now i am just going to give here int okay you can give decimal as well then invoice number i'll be giving here int and length i'll just give here 255 total products data type will be int length 255 order date i'm just going to give here time stamp i'll just come here i'll just give here time stamp i don't have to add any length here because whenever i order whenever i enter new order the time will be stored by itself then finally order status will be var char because i just have to store status is pending or completed okay we are having in characters so here i'm just going to give the length as 255 okay i am having seven columns inside this user order okay whatever table name you want you can give okay but these are the important columns i have just given okay based on your requirement whatever columns you want to display you can just give here okay this table is created i'll just click on save you can see this is my user orders table inside this i'm having all these things okay this order id is primary in this table next i'm just going to create one more table that is pending orders okay let me just create one table i'll just give the table name as orders pending okay in this only whichever order is pending that will be displayed for me and for this i just need six rows i'll just write here six okay two more i need i'll just click on go inside this first i'm just going to give the order id okay inside this users order also i have given the order id inside this also i'm just going to give order id next i'm just going to give user id okay whatever user id we are having that user id should be stored here then i just have to display the invoice number okay whatever invoice number we are having inside orders table i just want to display the same invoice number and also i need product id whichever product is having the status as pending that product id i want to store here 
and then below this i'll be displaying the quantity how much quantity that user needs for that product and finally i just have to display the order status okay in the same way the data type will be int for this order id i'll just give her auto increment and null index will be primary then for user id i don't have to give any data type okay by default it will be int length i'm not going to give invoice number int length i'll just give here 255 int i'll just leave as it is quantity i'll just give here int length i'll be giving 255 order status i'll just give here varchar and length 255 okay this is how i'm going to create based on whatever orders we are having based on the status the data will be stored inside this one okay so you don't have to worry what data we are going to store once we write the php logic then you will understand which data will be stored inside these tables okay but these tables are very important you have to create these tables to proceed further i'll just click on save okay what we have done we have just created two tables user orders okay whatever user orders that data will be stored inside this one and order spending inside this whichever product is having the status as spending that data will be stored inside this order spending okay now we are done with creating the table next we are going to see how to write the php logic and step by step we are going to see like we are going to write one query we are going to understand why we are writing that query then we will see how to insert the items inside this cards then we will see how to delete the items if once the order is completed okay one by one we will understand this query and this orders is very very important if you don't understand this one just keep revising this keep on watching the video unless and until you understand if you miss any one part then it will be very difficult to follow the next steps so next we are going to work with php logic